everybody. How are you today? It's Kim from Kim's Homestead. Yeah, don't look at my hair. Well, it's nearing the end of September. So I thought I would take you around and let's see what's growing in the garden. So let's have a look. So I thought I'd start the tour with out the front. These little plants, they're really not doing all that well. I think the soil here is, it's very matted with um, the roots of the palm tree that was here, which is, they're terrible things, they really are. Nice trees, but terrible for the ground. Anyway. So, we've got some lovely ones flowering here. So here's the wallflower that we planted a few weeks ago and it's doing reasonably well. And there's a little snapdragon next to it. And these bulbs have now finished flowering and they're getting ready to die back for the summer. One thing I do have to do, one of my jobs this year, is to dismantle this post letterbox and put in a new one. Because when I get my mail, and unfortunately if it rains, it gets absolutely wet through and soggy. So it's time for a new letterbox. Here's the circle with, that we planted up. I see one of the um, bulbs that we planted has come out. Now that wallflower is doing quite well as well. Here's the wheelbarrow that we planted up. Once the little plants that are in there take over, it should look really nice. See the seedlings that we planted are still going, which is a good job. Considering the ground, I mean the ground is just absolutely shocking. This little wallflower is quite pretty. And our sunflowers, they're doing quite well, at least they're still alive. And some of our other plants are not only doing well, but flowering as well. The lawn is looking a little greener, but it has a long way to go. Let's head over to here. 
we've got one rose bush that's at least got some green on it not much so we'll see how it goes this one here I'm pretty sure is dead actually all three that I got from Big W I think it was it has died this white one that one's dead this one here I got from Bunnings it's going well which is good because it was a really pretty red one then our um, our velvet um, red velvet black velvet or something like that anyway sunflowers they're all surviving so far there's the other rose I got from Big W that's dead Uh, the sunflowers, some may not be that healthy, but they're still alive. And those are foxglove. Now we'll head over to the other side. Okay, we're over at the other side, and this is our gladiola patch. <coughs> some have come up. A lot haven't I don't think they're dead it's just yeah, there's a new one coming up I think it's just um, it's either late in the season for them or too early or whatever but pretty sure these ones here are winter gladdies and the other ones may not be. Okay. Our canna lilies. Cannas? Yeah. They're surviving just. It'll take them a while to establish themselves. But the corms are still alive. That's the main thing. And our buddleia tree is doing well. So, got a couple more trees to come out here. So I'm hoping to get them planted in the next couple of weeks. So uh, here's a quick overview at the moment. Not a lot happening, but as you see, I'm, I think the lawn is a little greener than what it was. Should be. I've upped the time on the water system to give it a really good drink and... I've given it some fertiliser, but I really think it needs a lot more. Probably needs a good top dress as well, but I really can't at the moment. Um, so it'll have to wait. So we'll start at the gate and probably one of the biggest things you'll notice is that big shelf has now gone and this is where I'm going to put the wiggles. See we've got yellow wiggle, green wiggle, purple wiggle and red wiggle. And on the other side is that big shelf that I had down the back and this is where I'm going to put my plants 
But I've got a few things coming up, so it'll be a little while before the plants get there, probably about four or five weeks. So, travelling down, I've got a couple more of my pots from down the back. And in these pots, I have um, peonies, actually. Uh, one hasn't come up yet. I don't know whether the bulb's still any good or not. But I'm leaving it there for now. And that one, the bulb is still good which is great. Okay, down here I have my three big tubs that are under irrigation now. And as you will see, I have the first of the petunias just starting to poke their heads out, which is really nice. This will be beautiful when it's all out in flower. Number two, there we go, there's one just starting there. And number three, I've got a few more just starting. Rosemary's doing well. And... The strawberries are doing brilliant. Oh, look. Nice, ripe strawberry. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The first strawberry of the year. And this is going to be an excuse me moment. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. I've got a couple more there that are not quite ripe. Beautiful. You can't get that from supermarket strawberries, I can tell you that. Ripened to perfection. Here is my rhubarb. This is its first year. It's doing really well. Very pleased with it. And the potatoes that I put in the bag are also doing really well. Good colour to them. Now the garden beds. Hang on, I'll just get this trolley going. Oh, look at my garden beds. Yes, they need a bit of weeding. All coming out in all sorts of colour. Really pleased with them at the moment. Lawn needs a bit of a mow, but it's really starting to thicken up now. And Patches is inside at the moment, yowling her head off. Now, here we go with the other lot. Oh, I've got beans coming up in the corner there. 
So it won't be long and the beans will be growing up these stick structures that I put there. More petunias coming out. And looks like my really nice gera uh, geranium is coming out too, which is good. This is a beautiful geranium. And the corn's doing well. Look at the lovely thick stalks on it. That one's not doing too well, but still, it's there. Then I've got beans growing underneath. There's some onions. They're the onions that I planted early in the year. First thing I planted. So, some of them survived, some of them didn't. There's some more beans coming up. Okay, I'll just put you off for a minute. Right, here's our little bulb bed underneath the mulberry, mulberry tree it's going really well all that goodness is going back into the bulbs and hopefully i'll have a pretty good show next year then our trees that we planted got some new growth happening here which is really good to see the little um, melons that I put in there though, I've got one and just hanging on there. And I've got one there and one just hanging on there. So we'll see how they go. I really want the Kajari melon growing but they don't they don't and this lemon tree look at all the blossom on it isn't it beautiful hello mr b or miss miss b i should say And this one is a Brazilian cherry tree. I've had this for about three or four years now and the little sapling that I got was only about two inches long when I first got it. So we'll see how it does now that it's in its permanent spot. And that down there is a cobra melon. So we'll see how it goes. Over here, the pumpkins are doing well. They finally got into the ground. And they're starting to green up quite well. They were starting to get a little bit yellow on it. I still got to put some compost in and cover it with mulch, but can't do everything in one day. Our cabbage is doing well. Mm. 
that's still alive let's put it that way <laughs> which is a bonus there's our blueberries still doing well it's quite a lot of flowers I don't know whether much of it will turn into fruit this year but I am hoping Now uh, this year's potatoes are doing really well. Now these are the two little dwarf, I think they're sort of a cross between, they're like a peacherine. And they've got quite a lot of fruit on them this year. So we'll see how that goes. I may have to thin them out a bit. It's only a little first year tree, so we don't want to overtax it too much. This one here is doing really well. I mean, look at all the fruit for a little dwarf tree. It's absolutely loaded. More potatoes, all doing well. Now, into our tomato beds. No, they're not planted with tomatoes yet won't be for a little bit longer but the garlic is doing exceptionally well that is elephant garlic just there and then I've got my market more cucumbers And my lettuces. Now, this is iceberg lettuce. And honestly, it's the best that I have ever grown. Look at it. I've never, ever got it to this stage before. So I'm really, really pleased with it. The... Um, Blackjack zucchini is doing really well. I'm very pleased with it. Look, I have the first young fruit. It's a female fruit down there. Where are we? There we go. And there's another one on the other side. There's no males yet, so that's a bit of a pity. Ah, we've got a young male coming up there. Can you see him just down there? He's hard to see. Hang on. There you go. So, we'll see if he's out in time so I can fertilise those female ones. None of the um, onions I planted in these beds came up, unfortunately. I had brown onions planted in here. But, they have, these ones are red onions and they've started coming up in here. The, and in here. 
the capsicums I planted out are doing really well, coming on nicely. One of them did die, but I still have five plants. There's some more garlic. So on this side I have elephant garlic. And on the other side, I have soft neck garlic. There could be a little bit of elephant garlic mixed in. I wasn't too sure of the bulbs. And more of it down here. So it's growing really well. I have some more cucumbers planted at the end. These are the lemon cucumbers. And my um, white turnips or Japanese turnips is going to flower. So I'm going to allow them to go to flower so that I can collect the seeds for next year. And these carrots are doing well. I do need to tie my peas back up though. They're coming along really well. Heaps of flowers and I actually have snow peas and I've got enough for tea so I'm going to pick them and this will be the first crop of the new garden I've been so looking forward to this ever since they started growing I have had a sneaky taste of one or two of them and they are delicious absolutely delicious my goodness there's a lot on here won't take me long to pick what i want for tea tonight that's for sure I think some of these blistered up with a little bit of butter will go down very nicely actually. But we don't want the bird poop. Get that out. Yes, guys, real food comes with dirt and bird poop and bugs. Quite a few small ones on there. I'm just taking the the fairly large ones. Give 
give the young ones time to mature. Mm, it's nearly time I tied them back again, actually. Otherwise, they'll shade out me carrots. Well, that's a good feed. So that'll be it for this one tonight. And I'll probably start picking again in a couple of days. But otherwise, the carrots are coming along really well. I've just got to tie these peas back. So it doesn't shade out my carrots too much. It's nearly time to thin these out. Yeah. I was hoping and they would um, turn into young carrots so I'd get sort of new ones. But anyway, they are weeded for today. That's the beauty of these raised beds. Good on your back, great on the weeding. Look at the pretty flowers. Got two of them flowering so far, the others aren't far off. Now, and these ones, these are going to bolt to seed before I get anything, but that's all right, I knew they would. What I'm after is actually next year's seed. So I'll take what I can. I think I've got more over here, actually. There we go, there's the little one. Yummy. Oh, that one's a bit too small as yet. Oh, that's a good one. Weeding done. There's me parsley, that's coming along quite well. Nearly time to cut and to dry.
Alright, there's some lettuce coming up. So that will be pick and come again lettuce. The ginger didn't take off, unfortunately, but I planted uh, uh, what is it, borage there, so that'll be good for the pollinators. They'll love that. Now I'm nearly ready to start cutting back my parsley and drying it out ready for next winter here is my cauliflower which is coming along quite well Then we have the broccoli. The broccoli is doing really well. Look at that. Beautiful plants. Starting to heart up. Won't be long and I'll have some nice heads of broccoli. As yet, touch wood, no butterflies. These peas are the sugar snap peas. And they are doing really well. No flowers as yet. But I'm sure it won't be long. And I'll be snacking on sugar snap peas. Then we have the patty pan zucchini. Or squash, some people call them. And they are doing really well. They are really nice with um, roasted with a little bit of butter. Mm, nom, nom, nom. A little bit of onion salt over the top. Very nice. Here we have our salad onions. They're growing quite well. We've planted them out together couple of months ago and here's my next crop of carrots these are the rainbow and the um, the purple dragon I think I've got purple dragon on the outside and rainbow in the center something like that I'd have to go back and have another look on the video. There's my little flower pot there. He's doing all right. This one here, I've still got something munching on my Lanaria. Don't know what it is. But the little bugger won't let it grow big enough to flower again. Here we have my celery and leeks. Celery is doing really well. I can now start harvesting it for its leaves. But I think I'll leave it a bit longer. I've got quite a few celery leaves in the pantry at the moment. It's just great for soups and stews and just to add a bit more flavour to your cooking. Over here, I've got miscellaneous peas. This is basically whatever I had old stock left over 
in my seed packets. It's doing okay, but I think the seed was getting a bit old. What? Hi, Mr. Barnabas. Yeah. Hello. My white geranium is doing really well. And I think I'll have to water my mint. It was looking really nice, wasn't it? I think something's getting to it. These pots that we planted up, they're doing quite well, starting to come out and flower. This one's doing okay. Still alive anyway. Right, now we're back to the self-wicking pots and more onion. These ones are brown onions, so they're doing really well. Very pleased with them. And over here, we have both green and red spring onions. The next one, we have both purple top turnips and beetroot. That's the first planting of beetroot. And here we are with the beans. They're coming along really well. Another few weeks and we'll start getting flowers. Right, so now we shall head into the seed house. It's still quite full. Okay, so here is the basket of cherry tomatoes that we planted. It's doing really well. It will stay in the nursery here for probably another four to five weeks. By then it'll be ready to go out at my back door. Okay, so up here... Mm. I have, where are we, here's my next lot of peppers, I've got harbonada, a uh, couple of the big gyms I think, or one, no, none, none of the big gyms, um, some red capsicums and some yellow capsicums <clears throat> up there I have kohlrabi these are just plants here I picked up a nice big watermelon actually it's seedless 
So I've got to find somewhere for that. And here I picked up, um, it is a San, San Mars, San Marzano. It's a paste tomato, which I wanted to try. So I thought, well, I'll only pick up the one. See how it goes compared to the ones that uh, I'm growing, which is the ox, ox heart. I've got another yellow one, yellow capsicum coming up here. Still none of the big gems. Bit disappointed in them, but still. These are my tomatoes, and as you see, they're not ready to go out yet. Petunias are just starting to come up. Here we have the next round of beetroot. And some more seedlings that we planted here coming up. This one is Cosmos. This one's Garzinia. This one's Celtus. It's a lettuce type thing. Over here we have Dahlias. Zinnias. Uh, this one here more broccoli lettuce the roses are doing well starting to uh, shoot which is good I'll see if I can graft some nice roses onto some of those Over here I have status, so there's a good lot of status growing. I've got some for my daughter-in-law and some for my sister. Raspberries, got a couple of lot of raspberries growing. And in here Let's see here, we have, oh, I don't know, ah, balsam, there we go, and this one here, is chrysanthemums more status my corn still hasn't come up so I may have to buy some more corn plugs I don't know why these seeds are not coming up Oh well. In here, more beetroot. That one is a cylindrical beetroot. This one here is Sweet William.
Then we have some radishes and some more. Uh, these ones are monster tomatoes. In here, more balsam. Not much luck with the um, oh, I can't think of the plant now. Anyway, the ones I planted earlier. I've uh, got some Lenaria and Poppy. Um, purple Romaine Lettuce. And I'm pretty sure that's kohlrabi. That's a different type of kohlrabi. Then we have salvia and snapdragons. So that's it for the seed house the rest are just plants that will be in here over the summer months so that's it for the garden for the end of september 2024 anyway i hope you enjoyed the little walk around the garden and I'll bring you along again probably at the end of October and we'll see what's happening with the garden then. It's, uh, we've had quite a lot of cold weather so the garden has slowed down a little bit, the growing part. But over the next few weeks, it'll probably take off really well. So there'll probably be quite a marked change over the next four weeks. By then we'll be planting the tomatoes and a lot of the other summer crops that I've got there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. So I will catch you again very soon with another video. Bye friends.